Hi, everybody. I'm Dick Vitale. Hey, I'm so proud to introduce you to Mr. Bill Rasmussen, the founder, the creator of ESPN. I thank him every day. It's given me one heck of a living and a heck of a life. I say thank you, Bill. Bill, to me, is a guy with great passion, a great feel for what he does. He's a PT beer, baby, a primetime performer. He's like the 3S man, super scintillating sensational. He's awesome, baby, with a cap the leg. Yes, Bill Rasmussen, a flat-out winner in the game of life. I called the gentleman that was going to do the interview, and I said, you know, Ed, you probably don't want to talk to me about the Whalers for the show this week because they just fired me. And he said, I don't have anybody else to talk to. How's that for being low on the list? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Berman. If you're under, say, 35 years of age, you're saying, what do you mean? we don't get 300 stations. Well, in the 70s, ancient history, what was cable TV? One man, visionary, 24 hours of sports on TV. He was told it'll never work. Just like a few years before that, man will never walk on the moon. Wrong and wrong. Bill Rasmussen was right. ESPN is an idea that'll work. Boy, has it ever. 30 plus years later, we're everywhere. So we called him the next morning and said, well, take one of those things. Because we didn't know they called them transponders. He said, one of what things? One of those 24-hour things. He said, you will? He was as surprised as we were. Only Bill Rasmussen can take you back, 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 back to the beginning of the greatest success story in the history of sports television. His ideas, Yes, his enthusiasm, his fierce determination and belief in success changed the way we all watch television and the way we watch sports today. Hi, I'm Bob Lee. You know, here at ESPN, we've always been the home of great ideas. It forms our culture to continue to improve, to challenge ourselves, to push the envelope. A lot of great ideas, but the greatest idea in the history of ESPN was the very first idea, and that belongs to Bill Rasmussen. It was his concept, his vision, his idea that a 24 hour, 365 or 366 day sports network could work and would work and understand the dynamics of the American marketplace and how and why America would embrace ESPN. That was Bill Rasmussen's idea and he will forever be remembered for it. And Bill, as large as we ever become, the many events that we do, the many sports centers that we put into the library, all the things that we achieve here, however many years that we wave in glory, all of us will forever bear your fingerprints and your DNA because that first idea was the greatest idea and it was yours. And I am so proud to call you a colleague and a friend. In hindsight, today looking back, when you think about ESPN, what do you think of 24 hour sports? In 1978 and 79, we'd go to a cable system and say, this is what we're gonna do. And I had this brilliant idea of a penny a day, one penny a day per subscriber, and I'll give you 24-hour sports. They threw me out of town. I said, what do you mean? That's 30 cents a month. 30 cents a month for 24-hour sports. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you think they'd just jump all over that? No, uh, they didn't. It's a story that's unlike any other. In the late 70s, ESPN was far from a foregone conclusion. Only one man can tell you how it happened. You'll want to hear Bill Rasmussen and his story. If you're a fan, if you're a fan, what you'll see in the next minutes, hours, and days to follow may convince you you've gone to sports heaven. Beyond that blue horizon is a limitless world of sports, and right now you're standing on the edge of tomorrow. Sports, 24 hours a day from ESPN, the total sports cable network. What a rash statement to make for a few guys in Bristol, Connecticut. But did it work? I think it did. Thank you very much.